Hey ho guys, what's up? It's Leo Hightower here, back up with a, in a sense, a remake of an old video that I did once before. Hey, have you guys ever wanted to play your PSP on an HDMI TV without having to worry about using component cables? Like this one in particular, the Pelican PL6036 component cable? Well, there's a solution for that. And it is the Hyperkin HDMI for HDTV PSP 2000 and 3000 cables. Now, I've done a review of this before, but let's retrick on that, okay? And uh, I'll explain everything what this uh, HDMI cable can do. The uh, HDMI cable for uh, the Hyperkin is basically... Uh, able to display your favorite PSP titles uh, on your HDMI TV without the use of a component cable like this one. So yeah, anyway, you can play it on your HDMI TV easily and uh, the resolution is 720p, which is pretty good actually. It also features a zoom button for you to display your uh, size at a much better resolution for the most part. But let's get more into it, shall we? The Hyperkin HDTV PSP 2000 and 3000 is a HDMI cable that will allow you to connect your PSP 2000 and 3000 to a HDTV. This product includes a U micro USB cable and the actual unit itself with the HDMI cable built into it. With this item, you can actually play your PSP on high definition TVs without having to stare at a small screen most of the time. And here is the Hyperkin HDMI PSP cable right here. What it comes with is the HDMI cable inputter itself and a micro USB cable for it to connect to the HDMI output for the most part. And you need this because without it, you can't use this uh, component for the most part and on the front right here you can see the default and zoom feature for the most part so yeah if you want to play a and capture footage off of your PSP e onto your Elgato this is the perfect solution for you and that says a lot because the Elgato doesn't capture uh, components uh, component ca component cable output unfortunately so this is the next best solution it's either this or nothing so yeah if you want my honest opinion use either default but if you want to play big on the TV use zoom experiment and try it for yourself a few things that should be noted when using this kind of, from using this uh, cable you cannot use it while you are charging your PSP and you have to have an HDMI TV in order for this to work and my TV isn't in here right now it's in, in the living room slash den but yeah what this little cable does with the its uh, resolution and output it definitely works I've heard people give this one some pretty bad reviews online because they said it didn't really work out. But uh, for me, this actually worked out nicely. And I got it off of Amazon for, I think, about uh, $20 or $40. So it definitely works. And it's definitely worth your range in price if you have the money for it. So let's give it a try, shall we? This is me hooking up the HDMI Hyperkin to my Elgato. Okay, now 
we are going to take this and plug it into the Elgato right here. Alrighty. For this next part, we are going to connect this to my... We're basically going to connect it to my power surge protector. And last but not least, and last but not least, <sighs> we are going to take this end and plug it into my PSP. And there we go. Easy as pie. And as you can see right here, now the PSP is connected to my TV. And it's also connected to the Elgato. So that way, it can capture gameplay footage easily. You've seen my videos of me playing Luminous before and doing a test recording of Ridge Racer uh, with the Ridge Racer replays. So that too is also, oh, uh, you know, the display and everything. So overall, as you can see, the connectivity and the input for the HDMI is easy and simple to get into. But you're probably wondering, what about the gameplay input? Well, let's take a look at that, shall we? Battle. As you can see in the gameplay footage here for Tekken Dark Resurrection with uh, the game taking up the screen right here and uh, me playing on the PSP handheld with my hands and everything and even though I get my butt handed to me by martial law because I'm rusty uh, I, did not I did not encounter any slowdown or any lag in the inputs of the gameplay for the most part Everything proceeded smoothly and solidly. I had no lag, and there weren't any real major problems with the input for the PSP gaming and everything. And the gameplay footage was really top-notch as well. And as you can see in the default setting for the picture right here, as I demonstrate playing Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max, the picture quality and the sound quality is also top-notch. There was no audio problems and there were no picture problems whatsoever as I played the game. And as I try to input uh, my commands in the PS on the PSP into the game, there was once again no uh, lag feedback or any delays whatsoever. So, it's suffice to say that throughout this whole entire experience, that there was no lag and no delay whatsoever. So, this was a success in the highest quality. It should also be noted that there is a default and a zoom button on the Hyperkin unit. 
that will switch the view of your PSP from a default screen setting to a more zoomed in screen setting. If you want my honest opinion, use either default, but if you want to play big on the TV, use zoom. Experiment and try it for yourself. So overall, that is my review of the Hyperkin HDMI cable for the PSP 2000 and 3000. This little bugger, it really, really works. And it's perfect for you if you plan on capturing gameplay footage off of your PSP and using your Elgato capture device. Did the product work? Well, uh, I'd say yes, it definitely worked. Did it work as intended? Yes, it did. The zoom feature and the default view feature worked like a charm, and the audio was really good too. I didn't experience any lag in the audio or the screen flickering in any way whatsoever. Would I recommend this uh, device to a friend? Yes, I would, especially if they have the right price range and the money for it. So if you guys want yourself a, a, an alternative to uh, component cables and you want to play your PSP on the big screen like it is with the GameCube and hooking up the Game Boy player to the GameCube and playing your Game Boy games on the big screen then this would definitely be the right choice for you as 
opposed to component cables. So yeah, but yeah. Piperkin HDMI cable for PSP 2000 and 3000. It definitely works and I would recommend this game, this uh, device. So yeah, anyway. That's going to do it for this review by Leo Hightower. I thank you guys very much for watching. And if you want to see more, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. And tickle that bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out. And this video is not endorsed by Hyperkin in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. Peace.